Uh, Julia George is there for us this morning. Julia, I know already it's, it's transformed, isn't it, that place? This place has been transformed and we're going to show you the headmistress's office. What was the headmistress's office in just a moment? We're up in the attic of the building and it's very different now, but the reveal will come in just a moment. Let's tell you about this school built in 1906. And what was life like then? One quarter of Londoners didn't have enough to survive on. And the newly elected Liberal government thought that children in schools were so weakly and malnourished that they introduced school dinners for the very first time. Now, a century on, life is very, very different in this part of West London. But the school looked almost the same, so the head and the governors leapt at the chance of a free makeover and they chose three key pro projects. An overgrown nature area that's become too dangerous to use, a big bland art room with untapped potential and the old headmistress's office up in the eaves. We don't really use the attics. And I think that maybe we should convert it into a room like maybe where we could do drama or music. You can make it better by just like putting it more colour in it because it's like really dull. It's got costumes up there for shows. We could change, it would be brilliant to change it into an acting room. For the last six days, a team of designers, builders and chippies have worked tirelessly to give the children of Southfield Primary some exciting new facilities. And it hasn't cost the school a penny. 50 workers have been on site every day. They've completed a thousand man hours and miraculously, the school has stayed open throughout. Mind you, when we last visited, it was hard to believe the ambitious plans for an outdoor classroom would be realised. They were still trying to rescue the newts. But it was better news up in the art room. The entire mezzanine structure was fabricated off-site, so that was a quick and reasonably painless assembly job. It wasn't going according to plan, though, in the new drama studio. When they took the boards off the windows, they found no glass and some pretty rotten sills. No one wants to let the children down, and everyone's taken real pride in this unique project. So they worked into the night to make sure everything was finished on time. So let's take a look at what they've done up here in the attic. Remember, it was, it was just such a different feel. It's light and bright. They're going to use this as a music and a drama studio. I'm going to pop over here and have a quick chat with Boris, because Boris, you're going to explain to us, and hopefully we'll see it at the same time, what was it like up here before? Well, before it was very dark and dull and dusty. It, it was just horrible. It was cramped like, as well, we, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was, there wasn't enough space and like, the colour, it was, it was all just like black. And costumes crammed yeah, in here. Yeah, and they were, There were costumes over there. And, um, so what do you think of it now, my friend? <laughs> well, now it's, it's like so amazing how you transformed it. I mean, like... I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm only here to film it. Let's ask some of your friends. What's your name? Sylvia. What do you think of the room now? I think it's amazing. You think it's amazing? And let me ask Bobby, because when we came on Monday, you said, I want it to be wild. Does it live up to your expectations? Yeah, definitely. It's what do you great. imagine you're going to do up here? Um, well, we've got um, a play that we're going to do soon, and we'll probably be practicing lots more in here, which will be better than doing it in the hall, because then we won't have interruptions. OK, let's just ask your friend here. What's your name? Eleanor. Eleanor, what do you think of this? I think it's fantastic, because used to be so cramped and no one could really find anything. In You're there. all absolutely delighted. Let's bring in Charlie Morris, the head teacher. Um, Charlie, this is, this is a total transformation of a space you didn't use before, so you've got a whole new room. Absolutely. It's been a lot of work, I've got to say, this week. There's been some late nights, so uh, Daisy Poppy, I'll be coming home tonight. <laughs> um, it's a case, though, that the, uh, the workmen have really pulled out the stops, and I can't say enough for all the companies involved and for the uh, BSCE. Absolutely outstanding. It's quite extraordinary, I've thought, to see so many people give their time and Absolutely. their resources for free. You don't see that in life Absolutely. or not. Absolutely. I mean, and, and that's been the big thing. I mean, and it's not just Wilmot Dixon, it's been all the other companies involved, 15 companies. And people, you know, people were here 12.30 last night volunteering their time, architects, uh, managing directors, rolling up their sleeves and painting. Uh, just absolutely, you don't see that. You're absolutely right. And the uh, impression it's going to give to these children, community involvement of uh, people actually 
uh, putting their money where their mouth is and, and, you know, laying themselves on the line in order to do something productive. Well, it's something that they'll remember, I'm sure, for the rest of their lives. If you're interested in trying to transform your school or finding out about how to choose a good school based on the sort of school environments and the way it looks, then go to our website. Lots of top tips there for you. Just a question for you. You know you mentioned the people volunteering. Are they parents or are they just people who live nearby or interested parties? Who are all these volunteers? They are, what, what's happened is there's a, an organisation, the charity called the British Council for the School's Environment, and they found builders and contractors who usually work in schools who were willing for one week to give their time up for free. But as a result of people watching it, other people have joined in. A grandma came down with some plants that she wanted to put in uh, into the garden, and, and other people have been giving up their time to come down and help out. So it, it's kind of escalated as the week's gone on. Oh, that's nice. Jules, thank you very much for that. And as Julia says, there's more information about how you can get involved.